Aw, oh, damn it, I just got done doing one of these about Ant Man. Oh my god, comic book people, stop breaking all your news at once. Seriously, the Ant Man trailer just premiered, and I made a video about that. You can find it in this little annotation up there. But. You'd think that would have been enough. You'd think that would have been like, all right, a trailer came out. Let's let that lie low for a little bit. No, 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 no. Comic book movie people do not work that way anymore. No. It's now a race these days to get out as much as you can, one after the other. And whether it be like official news or just rumors, it doesn't stop. Seriously, I did not think that this whole channel of mine was going to be nothing but comic book entertainment news non-stop. But apparently that's what it's now going to become. Okay, I got three stories for you today. A good, a bad, and a... Okay, first, the good news. Vixen is going to be getting her own animated TV show. Vixen, being of course a long-standing member of the Justice League, she has the power to tap into animal totems and gain their power. She's kick-ass, I think she's fantastic, and it's going to be animated and it's going to be drawn by the guys who did Young Justice, which was a fantastic show, and it's going to be premiering on the CW Seed. What the hell is the CW Seed? Apparently the CW has their own online channel, which does online exclusive content. I had never heard about this, but if Vixen's gonna be on there, I'll watch it. So far, that's all the news that we know about it, except for the fact that it's going to be tied into the Flash and Arrow TV universe that's going to be existing within that world, which raises a very important question. You can then have the Arrow guys and the Flash guys cross over into the Vixen cartoon, but how are you gonna have the Vixen cartoon cross over into the Flash and Arrow worlds? Like, are you going to get the voice actress herself to play Vixen in there? Are you going to get someone who looks like the drawing of Vixen that you've made to guest star in there and then have the voice actress dub her over? I don't know, but, you know, it's possible. It could happen. Next up, the eh, the second Age of Ultron trailer just premiered, and it's okay. Yeah, I, don't get me wrong, I flat out love that first trailer, and if I had seen this as the first trailer, I would have flat out loved it too, but this second trailer was... Basically exactly the same as the first trailer, except without, you know, the Pinocchio references in there. Basically the information we got in this second one is exactly what we got in the first one. There was very little differences, honestly. But, you know, hey, I was already excited for it, so I didn't really need any extra hyping up. But at the same time, I'm really glad that we didn't get a lot more. Like, I was nervous about watching this second trailer because I like to go into these movies and be surprised by something. And I was really worried that they were going to reveal too much in the second trailer, but they didn't really reveal anything extra. The only extra little bits that we got, we saw a quick glimpse of a super high-tech city, it's Wakanda. We saw a little bit more of Claw, the villain of Black Panther, who is the ruler of Wakanda. And then we saw some mystery woman in a cave? No one knows what it is. A lot of people think it might be Shuri, the sister of Black Panther and the future leader of Wakanda. Wakanda's gonna be in this movie, y'all. I don't care what anybody says. Wakanda and Black Panther are in this movie. A lot of people are still asking, though, why hasn't Falcon showed up in these? Because we know that Falcon is going to be in Avengers 2, and a lot of people are saying, well, you know, this is the second trailer. How have we not seen Falcon yet? Honestly, I'm glad we haven't seen Falcon yet, and I'll tell you why. You remember that moment in the first Avengers where Iron Man is falling to his death, and then the Hulk jumps in and saves him, and that's a big, great moment? And remember how it would have been a way bigger and better moment if they had put that in the trailer? That's what I'm talking about when I say I worry that trailers reveal way too much, especially with these superhero movies. So I really don't want them to show Falcon in this trailer because, honestly, I will guarantee you, I guarantee you, the way the Falcon is going to show up in Avengers 2, Cap is going to be falling down to his death, Ultimate's going to throw him out a window or something, he's going to be falling, oh, sad music playing in the background, and then Falcon's going to swoop in, grab him, save the day, and then the tide starts to turn to battle. I guarantee that's how he's going to show up. And I don't want to see that in the trailer. I want to be sitting in the theater and then when Falcon just pops up, I'm like, oh my god, it's Falcon, yes! And then there is also the bad news that broke. This one's not really news, it's just a rumor at this point. And today, Henry Cavill himself came out and said, no, nah, it's not happening, but I've heard these things before, where an actor comes out and says, yeah, we're not doing that, and then two weeks later, yeah, we're totally doing that. So I'm still going to report on this as if it's still in the rumor stages, but someone apparently snapped a photo of a bit of promo art for the upcoming Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice movie that showed that was going to be split into two movies, one coming out in October, one coming out next year in March. Now, this movie was originally supposed to come out this summer, but then Ben Affleck got injured and they pushed the whole thing back a year, but 
then they had to change the date again because they were going up against Captain America and they were like, we're Batman versus Superman. There's no way we'll lose Captain America. And then they saw Winter Soldier and they're like, we're totally going to lose Captain America. So they pushed the date up to March, which was smart because even though, you know, they had to push it back for Ben Affleck, the dude healed faster than they thought and they didn't need a whole extra year on this. Like, this thing is already done. It is already, everything's been filmed. They're just doing the post-production now. They don't need to wait until next summer for that. So yeah, they pushed it up to March. But they're moving a little bit faster than they, they thought. And let's be honest, this movie's been a little bit quiet. Like, they made some big splashes when they announced all the different characters and all the different actors who were going to be in this movie. And then everybody was like, oh my god, I can't wait for this. And then everybody kind of doubted down because everybody remembered, all right, it's still like three years away. So honestly, I can fully understand them saying, okay, we're going to move this up even further. We're going to get this in at the tail end of 2015, which honestly is probably a smart idea. I mean, you don't want that big of a gap in between the only movies that this DC universe has put out so far. But here's the thing. I've seen so many people excited about this. It's like, oh yeah, we get two movies now. This is fantastic. You don't get two movies. You get two halves of one movie. I know a lot of people right now are comparing this to what Marvel is planning on doing with the final Avengers movie, or at least the final of the first trilogy, or however they plan on doing this, in which they announced that the Infinity War storyline was going to be split up into two movies. Here's the thing. They're going into that film planning on that being two films. They can write the script out and write it as two films with a full arc, with something of an end point, and then a gap of time, that then goes into the next one with another full arc and another conclusion. They can write it that way. They can shoot it that way. Batman vs Superman was written as one film. And it's all already been filmed and completed as one film. This will not be, you know, two two hour long superhero movies that each have like a full little bit of a storyline with a big cliffhanger at the end. This will be two 80 minute movies that all of a sudden just end right in the middle of it and then you're like all right whatever and then you come back and you see the big fight in the second one you know three months later you don't want that that's going to stink what you want is one full complete movie that you can sit down and enjoy and if they're able to get that done in time to push that up to october fantastic get it done get it out there because i don't want to sit around for another year hearing about this movie coming out when honestly I didn't even like the first one too much so I don't want to spend a whole another 12 months going well maybe this one's gonna be good maybe I don't know I want to answer that question now so yeah if you can push this thing up to October do it but if you can only push the parts where Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne are sitting across from each other and talking with one another you can only finish that part and push it up to October? What's the point? Don't even bother with that. So yeah, that's just my take on these three quick little stories because I just wanted to get them out there now because so much stuff keeps coming out. It's so hard to keep up with it. No, I'm not going to talk about Avengers Initiative. You get out of here, Avengers Initiative. No one wants to talk about you right now. We will deal with you in 2020. So I want to know what you guys think about these stories or any other stories that have come up in the comic book, movie, or television world recently leave them in the comments below and hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this video hit that thumb up as well and most importantly tell your friends spread this around the internet i always love to see that anybody is talking about this anybody is letting their friends know makes me feel so good right here in the black panther t-shirt area so thank you very much guys and come back next week for another video bye